Hello G Nation, I'm your OG, and we're gonna have a look at the skill plate from the Stephanie event we're gonna have this weekend, and some characters that it's actually pretty damn good on, as opposed to Stephanie, which it's really no use on her. So first one we're gonna have a look is on Wendy. This is Hall of Fame Wendy. This is my Hall of Fame Wendy. I already had her at five star gold with a hollow star, obviously. Uh, I do have both gears, one of which is gems do 10% more damage. The other is that moves that generate black gems will create one more black gem. The moves we'll use are the Scoop Slam, 9 MP black move, deal 41.6k damage and modify a 3x3 random maria into multiply gems of strength 3. Leg drop, 8 MP black move, deal 35.5k damage and make 5 multiply gems into black gems, which in this case will be 6 thanks to the gear. And the forearm club, 7 MP green move, deal 33.8k damage and gain 10 black MP. Trainers will use for that, you actually have a lot of different options. Uh, I'm going with uh, steel so that I start with four more green so that my forearm club is going to be ready off the bat. I'm putting Matt Hardy so that my uh, multiplier area is going to be strength five instead. I also have Memrock which is going to make it strength six plus five percent multiply gem damage. And I did add Hall of Fame Brie Bella to get two extra black as well as those black doing five percent. That means I'm going to be creating eight blacks from those multiplies and i'm actually creating nine yeah, now it's a random area so i got good hope that there's at least going to be one black in there so my belt here is pretty much unleveled as far as all the uh, metals and everything in they're definitely suboptimal uh, they're armors but yeah they're not leveled or the right ones really <laughs> Uh, the plate, however, is going to be pretty useful here because it is whenever you make six or more multiply gems, which we're making nine, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. So we're going to have a lot more damage. <laughs> it is the base damage that it is, that it is increased, but still we're making 6x multipliers that are going to be boosted by 50%. So we'll make sure to check the value of those gems. Let's do this versus uh, Bad Phoenix. Now, obviously, there's no five star gold on the road anywhere for female characters. So we're going to go versus a five star silver. So obviously, it's not going to be any hard to beat her ass, but we'll see at least the damage value. So we'll start by getting our black MP. Our C right now, the blacks are doing 18.8k. Now we're gonna pick a well, not pick, but we're gonna get a random 3x3 three three area. Which has one black, that's perfect. So they went from 18k to 24k each. And the one with multiplier is 151.7. That means we're going to be getting nine times that 151. I'm going to convert them now. And that did 1.36 million after damage reduction. Which is obviously more than enough. And a very nice upgrade for Wendy, especially since he, she's a character that I didn't really need any plate on to begin with. So this is a great option for her. Uh, let's look on it. Uh, let's look on someone else with that same plate. All right, second guy we're going to try this on is Nikolai Volkov. Now mine is only five star bronze right now with a hollow star and missing 30 levels. So he's pretty low level really should still get a good id uh, we're going to use the running clothesline which is an 11 mp black move deal 40.4k damage and choose four gems to make into multiplied gems of strength 2 
the lifting backbreaker, 9 MP green move, deal 39.6k damage and make 6 random black gems into multiply gems of strength 2, and a back body drop, 8 MP green move, deal 29.3k damage and choose 2 gems to make into black gems. Trainers for that. We're going to use Sinka since the close line was only making 4 and we need 6 for the skill play to activate. Uh, we already had enough with the backbreaker, which is probably going to be our main source to activate it, really. Uh, and uh, I'm using All Fame Bree, so I'm creating two extra blocks. And I got Memrock for one extra multiplier, or one, uh, make the multiplier one extra, I should say. And 5% extra also uh, for the multiplier gems. I do have the gear for Volkov which is move that generate black gems will create three more black gems. So that pretty much replace having to use Titus. You could still use Titus and just create a bunch more blacks. You could use a zombie edge. You could use a, a Santa Ogan. You could use a boogeyman. Uh, those all boost the black damage, basically. Kind of went with those. We'll see how it goes. Again, we are using the Steph plate which is whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. And I do have four armor medals, but they're not optimal or even leveled. Let's do this versus x pack. We're both at 14k, he's actually even higher than I am. Okay. Right now, my black damage is 8200. I'm gonna take it now. Oh, he dodged. That would have been nice if he didn't dodge. Alright, so now we're gonna turn 10 random blacks. Now, oh, since that pretty much did all my blacks, I can't really see what a regular black is now, but one with a 3x multiplier is at 36.6k. Now, remember, this is 5-star bronze, and I'm missing 30 levels, and I have all those stars, so that, that's really lower damage than it would at 5-star gold, for example. It should still whoop his ass. Now, we're going to make 7 blacks. And we're going to try to make those connects. Can't really reach this one, but this is gonna gonna connect all the other ones. And that did almost 400 right there. Obviously, a pretty damn good plate for Volkov as well. I'd be curious to see how he does at five star gold with that setup. All right, now let's have a look at another superstar using it. Alright, next guy we're going to be testing the uh, plate on is He Who Shall Not Be Named, aka Braun Strowman, Strowman Express. Uh, mine is currently 5 star silver, missing a all low star. He's also missing 29 level at 211. Uh, the moveset we're going to do is the Yokosuka Cutter, 8 MP yellow move, deal 69.4k damage, and choose 5 gems to make into black gems. The choke slam, 2 MP red move, deal 35.1k damage, and choose 7 multiply gems to destroy. And the Strowman Express, 4 MP red move, deal 54.1k damage, and choose 1 column to make into multiply gems of strength 3. Now for him, you gotta be a little more careful with the trainers you're gonna be using. Like normally I like to boost the multiply as much as I can, in this case I can't. Uh, I gotta stay with a maximum of strength 5 because there's 11 gems that you can push before you get a pin and if I wanna cycle and do two columns I need to break maximum 10 gems. As such I can get a multiply higher than 5 so that's why I'm not gonna be using Memrock. I will use however 
uh, Matt RD, which will bring it to a uh, strain five. I'm using as well Titus here so that I'm making four extra blacks, which is where we'll unleash our damage from. Uh, I'm using Zombie Edge to get 2200 more out of black gems as well as Ogun for another 2200. Uh, you could be using also uh, Boogeyman for a 15%. Uh, you could not use Matt RD and instead uh, put, uh, for example, more black damage, or you could not use map, put more black damage and replace uh, Zombie Edge by Mamrock, uh, stuff like that. I think this should do pretty well. Um, again, the plate, which I actually forgot to put the belt on. Let me do that. We're going to break it. And we're going to use the plate I normally use. Uh, the belt I normally use, I mean. The preview belt. And that one has the Steph plate. Forgot to equip that one. There you go. So whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. We're going to be making a row, so we're making seven. And uh, if uh, we're lucky, we should... Or actually... You don't really need luck. You, you, you need to have not bad luck. That you can run it twice. So let's do this. I'm going to go versus a 5-star gold even though I'm 5-star silver. Because I'm pretty sure he can handle it. Uh, we'll see if he can't. <laughs> Alright. We'll have a look. Base damage is 10.2k. Uh, like I said, I'm 5 star silver with a holo star and missing 29 levels. 10.2 is our base. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get a column with multiplies. Now I need a column that has red and yellow because I need one of each. Uh, looks like we're going to pick this one because we do have our red, we do have our yellow. And we do have two blacks, which means it's going to be multipliers that already have black on it. And I won't need to use my uh, black uh, my black gems from the yellow move. Let's do this. Now our black went from 10.2 to 14.6. And those multipliers are at 73.2. Now we're going to destroy... Or red and yellow and we're gonna hope that we don't get screwed by RNG and get a black right there hopefully we don't we won't perfect like I said that's why I wanted 10 because we have one more that means we can make another column now unfortunately there was barely any black on this board pretty bad board really Put this here. And now we're going to make nine gems into black. Now we're going to make one, two, three. Oh, that's enough to cover all the gems. Well, all the multiplier gems. One point fourteen or well, one point two actually. And that was more than enough. That should do a pretty good amount of damage at five star gold, or even if I actually add just more levels on him. That's pretty damn good on uh Strowman. Alright, let's look at it on someone else. Alright, next one we're gonna do is China DX Army. Uh, mine is 5 star gold, like pretty much everyone that played the first 22 minutes of yesterday's Blitz. <laughs> Although mine was already 5 star silver max, so that was just a small fuse. So uh, I'm currently missing 49 levels at level 221. We're going to be using the Gorilla Press Drop, 8 MP black move, deal 52.9k damage and choose 5 gems to make into purple gems. The running purple, pur bleh, 
Running Power Slam, 7 MP purple move, deal 49.5k damage and destroy 5 random black gems. And the end spring back elbow, 5 MP purple move, deal 38.6k damage and make all black gems into multiply gems of strength 2. Trainers will use wood so that we start with more purple. Valor, so we're destroying more blacks. Uh, Memrock, so we're making the multiply gem strength 3 instead of 2, plus 5% more. And uh, Ogan Santa, so that all uh, gems are 2200 more. Zombie Edge would do the same specifically for black, or 15% from uh, Boogeyman. So I'm not convinced about this one. I don't. It's. I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference, but uh, we'll see. Oops, actually it's gonna help if I put the plate on it. Oh, I already do. I thought I forgot to do it. All right. So bet is five star silver, but I'm missing like 49 levels. So shouldn't be that far off from her. So we don't have a lot of blacks like we got seven blacks or six blacks right now so that's pretty minimal that is enough six so that we're gonna get it off forgot to check what they were before they are 55k after we're gonna destroy it now Two thirty-two. And she kicked out. Now we do have a good amount of purples now. And not purples, blacks. Perfect, remain or turn. Right now they're doing 17k base damage. Now with the multiplier they're doing 71k each. We got 3, we got 6, we got 9 on. So we're going to be destroying all of them. Six hundred sixty-seven k. I'd be curious to know how much that does if I was maxed out. Let me check what's the actual value difference for my gems, like the base value. Right now my blacks were doing 10.8 base. If it was maxed, they would be doing 12.8. I mean, it's a decent amount, especially when you add the multiplies and the increase and everything. So yeah, it's definitely viable. I'm not sure I'd use that over or, or normal move spec though. So I guess it's one thing to think about uh, there. Other than that, there's uh, you could use it possibly on Rocky Johnson. Although, again, not sure it would be doing a big difference on him, though. Uh, I think uh, Wendy and Strowman are definitely the two that it makes the biggest difference on. Uh, there might be some other that I can't think of right now. Basically, anyone that generates uh, six or more multipliers and also has a way to generate blacks or at least destroy blacks in some way are going to be benefiting from that. Uh, I'm just drawing a black for the more obscure character I never use. So yeah, that's it. I mean, it, very good plate for those. Obviously, completely useless for Stephanie, but pretty useful for like... I would definitely love to have that plate for Wendy, especially since I don't really have any plate I'm using on Wendy other than like the default cheap shot. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions? Ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G out. Ciao.